Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are integers. For all natural numbers n, a plus b divides a to the 2n plus 1 plus b to the 2n plus 1. Okay, since we're trying to prove a statement about all natural numbers, let's use induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So really, we want to show that a plus b divides a to the 2 times 0 plus 1 plus b to the 2 times 0 plus 1. Well, if we actually write out what that is, we know that 2 times 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So this entire thing is just equal to a plus b. And a plus b is equal to 1 times a plus b. So this shows that we can do a plus b times some integer to get this guy. And therefore, a plus b divides this guy. So we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n where this is true. And the whole golden induction step now is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. And what that means is we want to show that this is true. Well, since we know that a plus b divides a to the 2n plus 1 plus b to the 2n plus 1, this means that there is some integer such that this guy is equal to a plus b times that integer. I'll call that integer k. And now, let's write this guy out. Now, 2 times n plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 2n plus 3. So this entire thing is equal to a to the 2n plus 3 plus b to the 2n plus 3. And we know that a to the 2n plus 3 is equal to a to the 2n plus 1 times a squared. Similarly, b to the 2n plus 3 is equal to b to the 2n plus 1 times b squared. And now, this is probably the least obvious part of the proof. We are going to add and subtract a squared b to the 2n plus 1. Now, from the first two terms, we can factor out an a squared. From the last two terms, we can factor out a b to the 2n plus 1. And next, we know that a to the 2n plus 1 plus b to the 2n plus 1 is equal to k times a plus b. And b squared minus a squared is equal to b minus a times b plus a. And now notice, we overall have two terms, and they both contain a plus b. So we can factor out a plus b. So from the first term, we're going to have a squared k. From the second term, we're going to have b to the 2n plus 1 times b minus a. So as you can see, there is some integer such that a plus b times that integer results in this guy. And therefore, we have shown that a plus b divides this guy. And that was the whole goal of the induction step. So this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. And so we have proven the theorem. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.